Hey there, Pisces. What's up? What's good? What's happening? Welcome in. Welcome back. I'm going to use the Work Your Light Oracle cards today, and then I'm going to pull from the Light Seers Tarot. We're going to see what messages ooh, are coming through for you. Powerful. If this fits your situation, awesome. I hope it helps. If not, just try a different message. Very powerful. Let's see what we get. For Pisces, please and thank you. Okay, Pisces, I'm picking up on somebody who your gifts, your abilities, your powers are the strongest they've ever been. They're about to get even stronger. This awakening you're going through, you didn't even see it coming. Some of you are going through an awakening right now and you don't even realize it. Because you've done it so many times, you're so used to it. It's literally secondhand nature. But how long has it been since you've actually had allergies? Are those allergies or are those flu-like symptoms more ascension related? Still go to your doctor, make sure you're you know, checking in with your GP and, and practice your doctor, whatever. Anyways. But take into consideration that this could also be ascension. That's interesting. Anyways, drink your water, get your sleep, nap if you can. What do we have for Pisces? Please and thank you, spirit. Interesting. I don't have anything coming out yet. Ah, thank you. Imrama. Yep. Where are you being called to journey to? You're going places, Pisces. You're going places here. Okay. You have a lot of different options here as well. Where do you want to go? Where do you feel called? Where do you feel pulled? What is it that you feel like getting into or trying out, dipping your toes in the water to see if, you know, maybe. Um, there's something new here. There's something new. There's a couple of things going on. Let's just, um, let's get these cards on the table so we can talk about it. I just, I feel like You have an ascension going on, yes, because your gifts are getting stronger and you weren't even expecting that because you were still enjoying the last boost that you got. You know what I mean? The last ascension that you went through, you're still settling in when this other one hits. <laughs> um, but I also see a new beginning for you. It feels very warm. Um, there's a lot of passion. There's not like lusty passion. For some of you, it could be a new romance, but this is going to be somebody that wants to be very gentle, not rough with you. Does that make sense? And then um, this could also be like a hobby that somebody's into. You give it a try and it turns out to be a really, really big passion for you. You're really good at it um, and you enjoy it so much. I don't know what it is, y'all. It could be paint by numbers. Who knows? <laughs> but um, I'm getting something new that just really lights this spark in you. And you can literally use this, um, this spark for anything. Anything that you're trying to be inspired about, need to be inspired about, you can channel it for that. Um, so I really like this, whatever it is. It definitely feels very childlike, um, inner child. So um, it's fun. It's not like work. It's not like work. I mean, some passions end up paying off, right? Sure. That's a possibility. But I'm more so just getting like a new passion coming in. Like a new love, but a new hobby. And it's, it's so intense for you. Oh, my gosh. Like I'm not just seeing a little match or or a little skinny tea candle no i've that's the whole sun right there that's the whole sun 
I just saw the Wheel of Fortune, Fate and Destiny. So we've got the Eight of Cups here. Ah, as one door closes, many more are opening. You're definitely on a journey, and some of you guys have been on this journey for quite some time. You're not new here. Very ancient soul. Very spiritual, very powerful. I hope you believe it as much as I do right now, looking at these cards. And it's interesting. I told you what I see right in front of you. It's not just a little match or a tiny tea candle. It is the whole sun. You are walking into so many opportunities. And you're not even looking for the opportunities. You're just walking to the sun. And then, boop! All this on your way. You know, it's wild. I feel like you have this ability to detach from the things when you need to. Whatever the things might end up being. It could be people as well, right? But um, you have an ability to detach if you need to. I almost wonder if you're aqua Cusper, because Aquarius, that's one of their um, magic powers, I guess, is they can leave their heart out of it and do what they need to um, without letting their heart get in the way. That's why they're the water bearer, right? Yeah, there's the new opportunity. Ace of Pentacles. Queen of Swords with Two of Swords. Wow, and as I was saying all of that, we have the Queen of Swords who leaves her heart out of it. She removes herself so she can get the big picture. She allows her time and space to see whatever flags she needs to see. When these opportunities come in, if you don't know, you don't have to choose right away. I would actually naturally be leery of anything that's, well, we need to know right now. You're not giving me a lot of time to think. That's a flag, right? So um, you have your respective time to think this over. I think these are beautiful opportunities here. Again, you're walking right into the sun, right into the sunset. There's the Wheel of Fortune that I saw. And tell me, did you finally get your chance to sail on the light of day? And back to the Milky Way. Oh, wow. And did you miss me while you're looking for yourself out there? That's what you're doing. That's exactly what you're doing. You're looking for yourself out here. You are finding yourself. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. High priest, high priestess, Pisces. There you are. Um, yeah. You were on a journey to finding yourself. And you didn't just find yourself in this lifetime. You have connected with so much more. So much more. And you're utilizing this. It's helping you in so many ways, and I, I feel like you're helping others, too, along the way. And more yet to come. You have some really, really big positive changes, and you can feel them. You can see them. You can sense it. You can sense it. Some of you know what some of these opportunities are about to be, too. Maybe not all of them, but you've got an idea of a couple things that are going to pop up. Might not know when or how, but you know, they will, and they will. You're not wrong. I also see you guys um, avoiding, avoiding some, um, it's interesting. It's almost like your soul moves differently than other souls do through their path because other souls meet certain people and have to go through situations. I feel like you're going through this lifetime at an accelerated rate. 
So there are certain things that you had you had planned on meeting people. They were going to do things to you. You were going to do things to them, you know, teaching each other lessons and stuff like that. And so they were going to teach you some lessons. You were going to teach them some lessons. Um, but you are going at a much faster rate here. It could have been protection. You needed protection from certain things. So they had to push you up a little faster. You have this ability to like suss out the shit straight up. I'm sorry. There's no other way to say it. Like if something's going to be a problem, you can sense it and you avoid it altogether. So like certain people that you were meant to have um, experiences with, you don't have to. Yeah. You already have the inner wisdom. Ten of swords. Yeah. You can walk right by it. It's like you don't have to actually do everything that your soul was originally going to have to do. This work is intense. Justice. Seven of Cups. Yeah, it's like you've got so many choices. You're like, no, nah, I don't have to because I already done did that. And we had the victory. Yeah, we're good here. We're good here. I have to do it now. It's like you weren't supposed to learn them the first time around, but you did. Like you, again. I hope you realize how powerful you are because I can see it here. We have Pisces, Libra, and Sagittarius. Virgo, Pisces, Libra, Virgo. I'm going to leave it right there. I hope this helps you. It needs to. I'll see you soon. Until then, stay beautiful.